As defined by the Micropub Association, a micropub is a small free house which listens to its customers, mainly serves cask ales, promotes conversation, shuns all forms of electronic entertainment and dabbles in traditional pub snacks. John Harris wants to introduce this concept in Portswood by converting Peter Rhodes' bookshop. Well, Peter Rhodes uh, is a friend of mine and the bookshop here has been established for 21 years and I've been coming for the last seven or so. Um, really like the place, really like the people that were involved. Um, half my flat is now covered in books from here. And then Brian, who actually ran the shop itself, unfortunately passed away in the summer. I didn't want to see it go to someone else that wouldn't appreciate what it had been before. In order to open this place, um, obviously I had to lease it from Pete, who still owns the building. Um, then we need a change of use because it was a shop previously and then to be trading as a drinks establishment is to go from an A1 use to an A4 use. So that's a planning application change and that's in at the moment. Uh, the premises licence, if all goes to plan, uh, will be in, well the application will first be in tomorrow. Uh, I have my personal licence and everything like that. So it's a matter of getting permissions off the council um, and then we can open, what the build and then open. And there'll be seating going in along the window. Um, some cycle racks outside, um, disabled access ramps so people can get up and uh, step over here to the toilets and then the, the bar will be in the corner to this and over here. The micropub, if opened, would be called the Bookshop Alehouse. Jennifer Parry Davies is a local musician who used to frequent the old bookstore. I'm a member of a group of people who speak French and we, we translate French into English and have a chat, which is what's happening now. And uh, what, what we were doing when we were at Peter Rose was to meet at 11 for the translation, but at 10 o'clock a group of us would meet and play the Scrabble in French. So the hope is that maybe we can get a, 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 that arrangement to be transferred back to Peter Rose. We're in Labaronia now um, because we could, had nowhere to go. The bookshop was always a magnet for people to gather together and have a coffee and chat to one another and pass on messages and we would be always told about upcoming music events sometimes they'd host them in the, in the bookshop maybe they'd open in the evening for a poetry thing or a music cd launch or something like that so it was always very much part of the community and um, i think if a small pub were open there i think most people would thoroughly enjoy it Although the plans have received a lot of support, there have still been objections that the introduction of the micropub could cause nighttime violence and noise. I'm not worried about the objections because they have valid points and they don't want to see the area driven into the ground. I mean, and that's definitely something I don't want to do. So I can see what their, their point is. And we've got so many supporting comments from the um, local community and people across Southampton, which is incredibly overwhelming, but really, really um, appreciated. Because when I put in the application in the first instance, it was um, I thought it was a good idea. I wasn't so sure how other people would take it. I've been blown away by how supportive they've been. It's been really good. My main worry now about the whole thing is living up to their expectations. So making it a good enough place that they won't feel that their support for it was wasted. If it doesn't go through, then... Um, We'll reassess, I think, um, if it's not open as a, a pub, a local pub, then um, who knows, but it will be open as something, and uh, I would hope that I would be involved in that somehow. If the plans are successfully approved, then the Bookshop Alehouse could open in the new year. I'm Kerry Higgins for That Solent.